The Mickey Mouse Review was one of three opening day attractions at the Magic Kingdom in Walt Disney World Orlando when it opened 1971. The show was a musical concert where Mickey Mouse conducted a group of Disney characters. Mickey Mouse Review ran for about 10 years until they were going to make Tokyo Disneyland. Now, this wasn't really being made by the Walt Disney Company. This was made by the Oriental Land and Sea Company paying money for the license to have the Disney characters. Well, they came to Walt Disney World and looked around and kind of said, oh, we'd like one of those. We'd like a big thunder. Oh, we're going to build one of those. And as they went through each attraction, Disney would say, okay, this is how we can do that for you. This is how we can build that. And they got to Mickey Mouse Review and they said, oh, we like this one. And Disney said, you know what? You can just have this one. We'll put something new here. If you're familiar with that space, you may remember when they had Legend of the Lion King there, which was an amazing puppet show. And today, this is the location of Mickey's PhilharMagic. Mickey's PhilharMagic, by the way, relatively similar. It's also about Mickey's supposed to conduct an orchestra. And Donald Duck instead takes the hat and goes on a whole adventure. Here's the audio animatronic of Mickey Mouse that would lead the band. This one was on display at D23, I think back in 2011. So Disney has this in the archives. Now this is the remnant of this ride that you have probably seen if you've been to Epcot. If you go on Grand Fiesta Tour, when the attraction first opened, the three caballeros were animated on the screen. So it was like, you know, this uh, proscenium arch and they were up there in animation. Now they've gotten rid of that and instead they have three animatronics there in front and that is the three caballeros as they appeared in the show Mickey Mouse Review. Do you recognize this Walt Disney home video logo? That is actually, that neon is actually the silhouette of the Mickey Mouse Review animatronic. So whenever you see that, you know you're actually looking at this attraction. By the way, if you enjoy these videos, be like Mickey, give it a thumbs up. So this brings us to this book, Surprise for Mickey Mouse. Now this was sold at the parks. You can see the park logo there. And this actually tells the canon backstory of this attraction. I'm going to read the whole thing to you. Uncle Mickey, shouted Morty Mouse. Look, here's a telegram for you, cried Ferdy. Huh? said Mickey Mouse. He sat up in his hammock. A telegram? What could it be? I know a keen way to find out, said Morty. Open it. This kid. Getting all sarcastic with Mickey. So Mickey opened the telegram. Is it good news? asked Ferdy. It's great news, cried Mickey. Walt Disney World is going to have a Mickey Mouse review and guess who's going to direct the orchestra? You're the face of the company, Mickey. Why are you surprised about this? Mickey should be planning these things. You are, laughed Mickey's nephews. That's right, Mickey said proudly. I'll press your dress suit, said Morty. And I'll get the airplane tickets, said Ferdy. And I'll run and tell Minnie, said Mickey. She'll be so thrilled. But Minnie did not seem at all thrilled by Mickey's good news. That's nice, she said, but I can't stop to chat. I'm going downtown to buy a new hat. Mickey was very disappointed. Just then, Horace Horse Collar wandered along. Horace, said Mickey, guess what? I'm going to lead the orchestra at Walt Disney World. You are, said Horace. Well, that's fine if you like that sort of thing. Mickey hurried on until he met the three little pigs. Did you hear, said Mickey? I'm going to lead the orchestra at Walt Disney World. Good luck, said Practical Pig calmly. And don't touch my new wall, the mortar's still wet. Geppetto and Pinocchio will be glad to hear about my musical review, said Mickey to himself. But at Geppetto's shop, the old woodcarver was so busy painting faces on dolls that he couldn't even stop to listen. As for Pinocchio, he was fishing Figaro the kitten out of Cleo's bowl. What's an orchestra, asked Pinocchio. Never mind, said Mickey sadly. If you don't know, I won't try to explain it. Mickey hurried to Donald Duck's house, and Donald and his nephews, Huey, Dewey, and Louie, were playing baseball in the backyard. Know what happened to me, called Mickey? What? asked Donald. Don't tell me Pluto took first prize at the dog show. No, said Mickey. I'm going to have my own musical review at Walt Disney World. Oh, that, said Donald Duck. Big deal, said Huey, Dewey, and Louie, and they went back to their baseball game. Mickey walked on, feeling terribly forlorn, until he came to the circus at the edge of town. There was Dumbo the Elephant, his friend Timothy the Mouse. Hi, called Mickey. Know what? I'm going to lead the orchestra at Walt Disney World. That's nice, said Timothy. Have fun. Want to see me fly, asked Dumbo, as he spread his big ears and soared off. Doesn't Dumbo fly beautifully, said a voice at Mickey's elbow. It was Daisy Duck. 
Yes, snapped Mickey, for an elephant he flies very well. But did you know that I'm going to Walt Disney World to lead the orchestra? That'll be lovely, said Daisy. Not as lovely as flying, of course, but rather nice. Oh, never mind, shouted Mickey as he stomped away. When Mickey got home, he found that his nephews had suitcases packed and they had airplane tickets. We're all going, laughed Ferdy, even Pluto. We wouldn't miss it for anything. Well, I'm glad, said Mickey, because no one cares. The next day, on the plane, Mickey brooded all the way to Florida. But when the plane landed and Mickey saw Walt Disney World, he began to cheer up. It was such a friendly place and he saw everyone having a wonderful time. There's a sign over there, said Morty. It says Mickey Mouse Review. That's your theater, said Ferdy. Fine, said Mickey. Let's go and meet the members of the orchestra. Mickey hurried into the theater to meet the orchestra. Oh my, he said. For there were Donald and Daisy, Huey, Dewey, and Louie. There was Minnie Mouse and Horace Horse Collar and the Three Little Pigs. There was Geppetto and Pinocchio and Dumbo and Timothy and, well, all of Mickey's friends. Surprise, they cried. We're your orchestra. And you thought we didn't care, said Minnie Mouse. Well, you certainly made a good effort of telling him. It's, it's, it, you're blaming him for thinking you didn't care? Goodness. And you thought we didn't care, said Minnie Mouse. Mickey had never been so happy. His musical review was wonderful. The audience clapped and cheered, and Mickey's orchestra took 27 bows. They would have taken 28, but Donald Duck got so excited he fell into a bass drum. Now tell me that doesn't remind you of the end of Mickey's Philhar Magic. <laughs> classic little golden book. Well, this was a lot of fun. I hope you enjoyed learning about Surprise for Mickey Mouse, the canon backstory of the Mickey Mouse Review, an attraction that closed in Tokyo years later. I never got to see it in person, but there are some great videos that have popped up on YouTube over the years. It stayed in Tokyo until like 10 years ago, so there was time for people to go in and meticulously video record it, especially in Tokyo. I found uh, I have one of those oculuses, and I found that the best videos you'll find are of Tokyo. Like, people there tend to have really good cameras, tend to take a really good job recording things, tend to, you know, think about what they're doing when they record stuff, and really make an effort to document things. So, I implore you to go check one of those out. If you're on a mobile device, thank you so much for watching. If you're on a TV or on a computer, there's going to be a couple boxes popping up. This will be the one that YouTube says is best for you. But over here is going to be a video I did about Herbie the Love Bug. I found the original script for Herbie the Love Bug. This had been lost for decades. People had always wondered what Gordon Buford had written about Herbie the Love Bug. And now it's finally been found. We go over that. We also talk about the Herbie the Love Bug that was thrown off a cruise ship and Herbie goes bananas. And they found it at the bottom of the ocean. I give you all the details here. So go ahead and click that box. Otherwise, click this one. And either way, I'll see you back here tomorrow at 2 o'clock.